Dollar Bishop, California. California. First brick came from Arizona. Arizona. First slang came from the corner. First chain nigga had the pony. My first pop, man, you wouldn't pin. Then my first car came European. European. My first flight was a visa plan. Visa plan. My first trip was on Peter Pan. Peter Pan. My first deal, man, they rape me, nigga. Rape me, nigga. My first bitch probably hate me, nigga. What is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. This is going to be a sample topping episode. Of course, we have four fragrances sent to me from Decan Shop. The last haul from Decan Shop, there were 20. Eight fragrances so we have seven weeks excuse me seven weeks of videos coming up um, not all of them are going to be available at Decan shop because Adriana sent me samples of, of just samples that she had of fragrances so but I wanted to go through all 28 with you obviously Decan shop is the best place online for you to get samples and decans of different fragrances all four we're talking about today are available on decanshop.com the prices are ludicrously low and you're going to be able to use my coupon code max 12 to save 12 percent of your entire order so let's get right into it we're starting here off now i have all four of these um, fragrances on my skin right now and we're starting off with one from the house of creed let's start off with a bang this one is called original Santel. Now I have smelled this one before. I wanted to come back to it as it was pretty high up on the base notes top 500 modern fragrances list. Guys, I know it's seven fragrances from Creed, Millicent Imperial, Virgin Island Water, Aventus, Himalaya, Green Irish Tweed, Royal Oud, and a decant of Royal Mayfair. Now next up is almost definitely going to be Vetiver Geranium. Could this one be after that? Maybe we'll see. Um, we've looked at a lot from Creed on this show. Really hard to get Creed scents. Windsor, Vintage Tabarone, Vetiver 1948. Just a lot of Creed uh, on sample shopping. And um, I like this very controversial house. I don't love it, but they do make classy wearable scents that I would probably never pay retail for. Now this one gets a ton of comparison to Individuelle by Mont Blanc, which I do own a bottle of and I like. This one came out in 2005. This was done by Erwin and Olivier Creed. Retail on this one is over $300 for four ounces, but you guys know you can find this one for about $150. $180 online. Notes on Original Santel are Indian sandalwood, coriander, juniper, and cinnamon at the top, lavender, orange tree, leaves, rosemary, and ginger in the middle, and tonka and vanilla in the base. Now, um, I think this is really good, but this is too close, too, too close to individual for me to pony up that over $100 for a bottle. It's a really good fragrance. I think the notes are better here. I think the materials used were probably better than what's in individual, but not not an extra, you know, I think you can get individual for like 40 bucks. I don't think it's worth that extra $100 to to just get a better version of individual. So I'm actually crossing this one off of my uh, to purchase list. I just don't feel like I need it. Now with that said, you might want to try both if you own neither and see if this one speaks to you a little bit more or just pops a little bit more because it definitely does pop a little bit more. You, know, you get this beautiful sandalwood note, the cinnamon. It's a great um, wintertime fragrance, great for the holidays, but you can also floss this one when it's warmer out because it does have a freshness to it. It's a really well done scent, but to me too, too close to individual. Next up, we're going to go to the house of Uncle Serge, Serge Luton. We're going to look at Detora Noir, also pretty high up on that base notes list. Uh, we've looked at a few from the house on this show. Um, not, not too many that I've really fallen for, with the exception of Beneo 1834, which I think can only be purchased in the Bell Jar, and those go for like 300 bucks. Um, I happen to own three from Serge. I own Chergui. Uh, five o'clock Beaujean Jambra and Fi and Agui, which is my favorite. Definitely looking for that next one from this house. The Tour Noir was a 2001 release by in house nose uh, Chris Sheldrake. And notes on this guy are going to be coconut, tuberose, tonka bean, almond, lemon blossom, mandarin, musk, osmanthus, heliotrope, myrrh, vanilla, and apricot. Big fan of the notes. Um, on this fragrance it's very it's tropical 
Uh, by the way, you can get this one for about $60, $70 online. It's a very tropical fragrance. And to me, what this smells like is it's very floral in the beginning. Tuberous. Um, and then it sort of dries down into like this, this like suntan lotion, coconut, coconut sort of scent. A little bit like Virgin Island water, but way more floral. Dial up the floralness of Virgin Island water. Take the lime out. Uh, Cause you know, uh, Virgin Island water has that zingy lime note and you're sort of understanding what this one is. This one is also more concentrated than Virgin Island water. It's just more, it's heavier. Um, it's really nice. It's a really nice fragrance. I think for my taste, it's a little too feminine for me. Next up, we're gonna take a look at one from the house of Montal. This one is called Black Aoud. Now we've looked at this one a long time ago, but I wanted to come back to it as it did appear on that base notes list. Um, and uh, the couple of Montal scents that were on that list were the darker ones. Uh, I own two bottles from this house, Nepal Oud and Intense Cafe. Next up is going to be Red Oud and then Black Musk. And then I think I'm probably done unless I find something else that really speaks to me. Notes on black oud are labdanum, rose, musk, patchouli, mandarin, orange, and oud. You can find this one online for about a hundred bucks. Um, nice dark oud scent, not blow away as far as I'm concerned. It's just a darker oud. You're gonna get that rose. Um, you're gonna get a little bit of mandarin, orange in this one. Labdanum. It's a it's a nice dark oud scent, but I think. You know, I think I probably have like eight or nine niche ouds, and I think that's like, unless you're doing something different with the oud at this point, I don't feel like I need to have more oud, more dark oud. Uh, and I think that's what this is, is a really good dark oud. Uh, the labdanum, the rose, the musk, the little hint of orange. Um, so well done, but not a must have for me, but a well done oud scent. We're going to finish up with one from the house of Dior. And this one is called Addict. This was in the top, I think, 20 or 30 on the base notes list. And for Dior, this was the top women's scent on this list. Terry Wasser, who is now at Guerlain, was the perfumer on this one. He did this one in 2002. And notes on this one are mandarin leaves and mulberry flowers at the top, night queen flower, Bulgarian rose, and orange flower in the heart bourbon vanilla sandalwood and tonka in the base you can find this one for around 80 bucks um this is this is a i think a beautiful fragrance um it has green notes to it i think that's the mulberry leaves and the mandarin the, i'm sorry the mandarin leaves and the mulberry flowers um There's also definitely like an orange flower, almost like a marshmallowy. I think it's the orange flower and the bourbon vanilla. It reminds me a little bit of Love by Killian. I, again, it's very feminine. It's very sweet. It's sweeter than I, I, I tried this when I got it, um, when I got the sample and it wasn't that sweet on paper on my skin. It's really sweet. It's really nice actually. Uh, it does remind me of Love by by Killian. I think I like this one a little bit better because it's got more, more green and more floral notes to it where love just sort of hit me with the arm like the marshmallow um part um sorry about the the um, messages it's actually a, a perfumer messaging me um but uh, it's really good this is a really good um uh, fragrance if i'm ranking these guys i would say i like addict one just keeping it a hundred um i'd say i like Original Santal 2, to um, probably Blackout 3, and Detorno Noir 4, but I don't think I have need to purchase any of these. Uh, maybe Dior Addict, I don't know. You know, I gotta mess with it a little bit more. I think it's a little too feminine for me. Um, so that's this week's episode. Guys, next week we got four more fragrances. We're gonna look at one from the house of Aqua de Parma, one from the house again of Serge Luton, actually two from Serge Luton, next week one from aqua de parma and one from bulgari and guys i just do want to remind you these are all available at decantshop.com use that coupon code max 12 i know that adriana just got a bunch of stuff from um, roja dove raja dove 
Uh, so check it out. Get a, get a great deal on some Raja Dove scents with that coupon code MAX12. And guys, I will see you next week with another video. You know what it is. My name is Maximilian, and I must go. Then my first car came European. My first flight was a visa plan.